We have um, two early intervention programs. We have a home-based parent-infant program, and we have a toddler program, which is center-based here in our school. The home-based program is for children birth to three. Um, we go into the homes. We have certified teachers of the deaf who go into the homes in Allegheny County and um, surrounding counties. So we go out wherever that child is and work with the family and the child together. Um, the center-based program is here at the school, and that's for kids 18 months to three. And they come into the school and receive um, a morning program here. When a parent um, comes to DePaul, our goal is to make sure that they know the options that are available for their child. We believe at DePaul, developing listening skills and spoken language is a viable option, even for the most profoundly deaf child. I, I think that one of the great gifts of DePaul is that they're not only a school, but they're a tremendous resource. Even when he's mainstreamed and no longer attending here, I'm confident that he can call up the professionals here, whether it's an audiology question or a speech issue, and that they can you know, give him answers and, and help him with whatever struggles he may face regarding hearing and speech. They were able to help us help him succeed at home. They gave us the tools and the communications we need. So what they were working on at school, we were able to continue at home as well. One of DePaul's goals was um, teaching a child to self-advocate. I felt that that was such an important tool uh, for especially a young child. They need to be able to confidently explain who they are and have that strong sense of identity within them. And that can happen as early as first grade. With each word and in each phrase and each recognition of a new concept, um, it just reinforced again and again that this was the right thing to do, that she was going to be okay. If you do decide to get your child a cochlear implant, don't treat them differently. Because if you treat them differently, They'll grow up expecting everybody to treat them different. I didn't feel like I was different from my sisters and other people. There is hope. There is a way to afford uh, Taylor these opportunities in life uh, so she can hear and speak. Brayden was mainstreamed this year to our uh, local uh, elementary school. Um, it's been a complete success, an easy transition, much more easier on him than it's been for us. That the ability to have uh, conversations with your daughter. I mean, it's remarkable. Oh, my hands are sticky. Good job. We made placements. Yay! Good job, Taylor. We thought he maybe would always be behind in different respects. He's not. Our students are ready to mainstream third grade, some even younger, because they've been able to close that gap with the early intervention services and the amplification that they receive through their cochlear implants. And to know the history of where they came from and how uncertain everything might have been for their family when they first came to us and then to see them leaving and to hear what they have to say is really, really powerful. I really don't think I have any boundaries. It's just what I choose and choose not to do. The more faith you have, the more you believe. The more goals you set, the more you achieve. So each one of the stars pick up an option to climb, dare to think big, and give yourself time. And remember to know, no matter how you talk, then see. With faith, there is no impossible change. To live without boundaries takes them out of an isolated, closed community and opens up the world to them. Truly, when we were confronted with the diagnosis, I, I really was worried that Samuel's future would be very limited. But now, you know, it, it's not only that he can listen and speak and function, but he's been given tools to continue to do that and to advocate for himself so that he can play a role in those boundaries disappearing. I truly believe he can live without boundaries now. After a hundred years, the mission of DePaul remains the same. Following the values and the traditions of our founders, the Diocese of Pittsburgh and the Sisters of Charity of Seton Hill, 
Our mission at DePaul School is to teach each child who is deaf or hard of hearing to listen, to speak, and to learn. We attend DePaul School for Hearing and Speech. DePaul has served our community for 100 years. 100 years. DePaul teaches children with hearing impairment to listen, to learn, and to speak. So that we can live without boundaries. So that we could live without boundaries. That commercial aired earlier this year, um, and it was just as Braden was finishing up his um, year at DePaul, <laughs> which we knew was the last one. Okay, one more time. I keep saying one more time, yeah, but it's going like to be a lot. Sure. It's just getting <laughs> better, okay, getting better, getting better and better. Okay, ready? Try it again. So that we could live without boundaries. When I first saw that video, I thought, what a nice recap. <laughs> <laughs>